hello everyone and welcome back to our channel this video is a tutorial on how to integrate webflow with shopify in this video we're going to show you how you can set up your shopify store and how you can integrate webflow into your shopify store so make sure you're watching till the end for all the tips and tricks in regards to integrating webflow into shopify so as you can see we are on webflow.com and this is nothing but a powerful tool for anybody who doesn't know coding to create uh, engaging and beautiful websites so if you are in that category then you can create your shopify store without coding using webflow if you want to know how to do that well let's get into it let's see how to do that so first of all let's first create our shopify store for that let's just go through these options i'm gonna take in i'm just starting over here and go to next online store go to next and um i want to skip all these things so i'm going to click on skip all and then click on next i'm going to continue with email put in a password and click on create shopify id if you already have a shopify account you can just log into it and create a new store or else you can do as i have done over here so it is building your store give it a few seconds and we are on our dashboard or let's say our main page after logging into shopify now we need to see how we can integrate this thing called webflow for whatever purposes into our shopify store for that you need to go to apps over here and let's go to all recommended apps and let's go to the shopify app store and here you can search for whatever app you want so go to the search bar and type in webflow and you can see these are the results that i have gotten but for me there is no webflow right now on my shopify app search results we've got gem pages and a couple of other things so i'm guessing webflow has not yet partnered with shopify so we need to go and do everything from scratch on webflow and then let's see how we can integrate it into our store over here in shopify so we are on webflow let's go ahead and start our journey of website creation here for shopify for that you need to click on get started it's free at the top right corner over here and i'm going to give in the same email address and click continue given a password and click on create account now let's answer these questions how should we greet you let's give in a name click on continue what best describes your role i'm just gonna click on other and click continue who will you be building websites for myself click continue and let's just click here i'm unfamiliar with uh, these coding languages over here and let's click continue and let's click uh, business website over here or whatever purpose it is e-commerce portfolio whatever uh, click your purpose and then you can just click on finish and let webflow do the magic and create the website for you so this is how it is simple very easy to just get to this stage whereas on shopify like if we go to the shopify store and say i select this one and integrate it to the uh, app then you can see free plan is available over here and if i click on add app and install the app as well so if i just click on explore template and use any of these templates over here and you can see this is going to be the shopify store how it will look like with this theme but you can see that there is this upgrade to unlock all templates so you cannot really create something for free oh yeah that's why people opt for webflow and so i'm just going to exit this tutorial over here once uh, we have this page over here you can just select from the templates over here just like what we saw in gem uh, pages over there and once we have the uh, template that is loading currently on webflow so you see that we've got some uh, presets over here for portfolio business business so many things that you can choose so i'm just going to go and select this one and just click on create site and let webflow create it for you and uh, with that you can see you can just simply build your website like that now if you want to publish this let's see what are the options over here and ah. so as you can see over here we are unable to publish because our email is not verified so let's just go ahead and verify our email check your email and click on verify and now let me just click on refresh 
and let's see what comes under publish click publish to select a domain so that was our domain dot webflow.io and you can see it has been published successfully now you'll be wondering if i create a website over here how do i integrate that on my shopify store well we've got these advanced options over here and what i can see is you have got all these settings so i also see that uh, these options are not actually enabled so if you want to create a site on webflow and then integrate it into your shopify what i'd suggest is you will need a site plan so you would need to uh, enroll for a plan on webflow and then these will get enabled so you can get the file from here like the csv file so in case you do uh, go for a plan on webflow then you will get access to the html code of your website that's created on webflow and then you can bring in the csv file to your shopify store and install it and then that will help you get your webflow website design onto your shopify and another way you can customize your store is to go to online store go to themes and you can hit customize over here and customize the theme like this like change the design whatever it is or else you can go to the theme library and go to the theme store and get a theme for yourself and put in the csv file over there like say you want to explore some themes and you um, get some theme from here and install it into your store you just integrate that csv file into it from webflow before we wind up this video i'd like to do a small comparison between the interface of webflow and the one we have on the themes of shopify so on shopify like if you go to customize on the theme you can see on the left side bar you've got all these options you can access the header the footer and all these in between and if you click on any of the pages over here on the left side you can see it changes so you can add products and edit all these components and elements right over here whereas on webflow the interface is very professional and standard looking on the top you've got these different views like we are currently on the desktop view you can change it to tablet view mobile landscape and mobile portrait as well and then on the left sidebar you can see there are these many options so you can add elements you can uh, see the components of this particular page over here you can go to the pages and see all the pages currently that are there on the theme etc and on the right side if you look at all these options like if you click on any of the elements you can see there are tons and tons of options right from layout spacing size position typography backgrounds borders effects there are so many things that you can do and play around with each element in webflow which is something that many of the uh, themes like inbuilt themes within the uh, store like over here the template store itself is missing and another good thing about webflow is that the design itself looks pretty professional and you can customize the themes each element to make the whole website unique to your shopify store at the bottom bar you can see this path over here so we're currently at the heading and you can go back to each component like this to the main component like that this makes the process of website creation very simple even if you don't know any of the codes so that's it about webflow so with that we have completed our tutorial on how you can integrate webflow into your shopify store we truly hope it was helpful to you to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We'll catch you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed.